In geometry, when we talk about this concept of two things being parallel, we aren't just talking about two parallel lines. We could be talking about, well, the obvious, the two coplanar lines, that's what we're going to see the most. But a line and a plane can be parallel to each other, and two planes can be parallel to each other. So let's start off by identifying two coplanar lines in this cube right here. So this cube will assume that we have six congruent faces and that opposite faces are parallel. So if we start off by saying, well, two coplanar lines, if I look at this front face, so that's going to be one plane. That's going to be plane A, B, C, D. I could say that this segment A, B, so I'm going to write segment A, B is parallel to segment C, D. So those would be two lines that are in the same plane that will never intersect. Now what about a line and a plane? How can those be parallel? Well, taking that same plane, A, B, C, D, if I took one edge, let's say A, B. So we're going to say line segment A, B. Line segment A, B intersects this plane, A, B, C, D. It also intersects this plane, A, B, E, F, which means it could be parallel to this bottom face. So the bottom face is C, D, H, and G. So we could say that line segment A, B is parallel to plane C, D, H, G. So that line will never intersect that plane. They're considered parallel. And last, what about two planes? Well, since we have a cube, we have three pairs of parallel planes. So we could start off with our front plane, A, B, C, D. So we're going to say A, B, C, D is parallel to the face that is opposite to it. E, F, G, H. So we're going to say E, F, G, H. But we could also consider the other two pairs. So we could say the side face A, E, H, D. A, E, H, D is parallel to this other side face, B, F, G, C. And last, we could say our two bottom faces, or the top and the bottom face. So we have A, B, F, E. A, B, F, E is parallel to this bottom face, which is C, D, H, G. So two coplanar lines, if we look at our cube, there's lots of them, but I only named one pair, and that was A, B, and C, D. We said that we could have a line parallel to a plane. Again, there's many, and I just chose one. And we can say that two planes can be parallel if they never intersect. And because there's only three pairs, I decided to write them all out. So don't just think that parallelism applies only to two coplanar lines. It could also apply to a line and a plane and two planes.